Hello there, Dominic here, and I'm going to show you guys the Curve Clone tool found in the Duplicate tab. Right now I have this geometry here, I'm going to select Curve Clone and click my curve in the viewport. Right now the mod is not automatic, so I can set a number of steps. When I set it to 2, I have my original one and a clone. Gives me two steps. When I set it to 20, I have 20 clones and my original one. When I set it to automatic, then I can adjust the smoothing angle. Like that. I'm gonna leave it at not automatic. I can specify to align the path and when align to path is checked I can set it to align to normal or not. I can start at source then all geometry will be created starting from the source but following the shape of the curve. I have right now a mode set to add that means that I can edit knots by hovering over an, a knot when it highlights I can click and drag or with this one selected when I click a new new knot will be created after that knot. So if I want to add one at the end, I have to first click on it to select it and then click again away from it to create a new knot. I can edit the knots and I can delete a knot. I can interactively place the knots by clicking and dragging on them or I can set position over here for instance if I want it at 0 0 0 now that knot is at 0 0 0 I'm going to control Z <coughs> control Z to undo now with this knot selected I can give that knot a bank angle and you can see what happens when I give it a bank angle in the viewport I can do that for all knots give them a bank angle all depends on what you want to do. I'm going to control Z and do that. And with control Z I have dropped my tool. I'm going to draw a new one. I can make it closed, then it's a closed loop. When it's not closed I can give it a start control to specify the start tension of the curve. I can give it an end control to give it to con to adjust the end tension of the curve. I can set it by length. Now all geometry is created uniformly along the curve. I can specify create polygon. When I check that you see that white line appear. This is actually a curve polygon. That when now when I drop the tool I will have these clones along with the creation of a curve polygon and that is useful for instance if you wanted to animate those clones along a curve then I can say well create polygon and then I already have a curve in that position. I can say to replace source when I zoom in you see that the original geometry will shift to the first knot when I replace source I can flip my polygons, you see polygons flip and I can merge vertice vertices when I check this I can set a merge distance this is useful for if you wanted to merge some vertices and in source I can say active meshes this means in the mesh layer I am in that geometry will be cloned I can set it to a specific mesh, for instance, and then with specific mesh I can say mesh item, for instance mesh 2. Now my second mesh will be replicated, well not really replicated but cloned, or a curve that I have in another mesh item layer. Going to then I can select all background layers or random background layers, haven't experimented with this one yet. Or preset shape. Preset shape, this means that when you press F6, 
and you go to profiles then you can select a profile and with the profile selected if I were to set source at preset, preset shape then that profile will be cloned along the curve. I'm going to leave it at active, active meshes for now. <coughs> so this is first... I'm going to stop for a moment. Okay, I'm back. So I've done everything and I've unhidden another geometry item. This is mesh2 which is a child of this mesh item. So uh, if I in item mode were to move this item, you see the child item will follow along. Ctrl Z to undo. So I'm going to first select this item and in polygon mode going to choose the curve instance. Curve instance is very similar to the curve clone tool. So click in the viewport to create instances and <coughs> in the item list you can see all the instances being created. Now the reason for that I have added a child is that I um, okay sorry uh, so the reason that I had added a child to this is that with the curve instance I can also say um, I want to clone or instance the hierarchy so right now when I check this you see that the children of the or the child of this mesh item is also being cloned when I uncheck this it's only the parent itself that isn't being cloned the rest of the settings is the same as with the curve clone tool. Um, I can set it to be instance. Bounding box. Something you will have to experiment with a bit. Again, okay, sorry about that. I'm uh, experimenting a bit as I go along because, well, actually, a lot of these tools aren't are not explained in the manual, so you have to experiment a bit yourself uh, in order to find out some of these settings. So when I click instance, I think when I look at the item lists, that's a number of meshes are being turned in instances instead of actual geometry. I think that is right. I can set it to bounding box. And as I've said, explained before, I can clone the hierarchy or not. And again, specify the source. Okay, I'm going to drop the tool and going to undo. Uh, you also have curve replica so this creates replicas settings are the same as the curve clone tool but the curve clone tool creates actual geometry the curve instance creates instances and the curve replica creates replicas so if you want to know the difference between these I suggest to consult the manual but the settings for the curve replica actually are the same as for the curve clone tool and you also have curve transform now I don't know what this does if I choose curve transform I can draw out a curve and as you see my geometry shifted to the start but I actually have no idea uh, maybe no actually the curve transform as well as the other and you have the Bezier transform and the pen transform don't actually know what those guys do and I haven't found anything in the manual what do we ha else do we have so we have the Bezier clone so the Bezier clone is actually the same 
as the curve clone with the single difference that it's a Bezier curve. So when I choose a Bez Bezier clone, I have extra control over the placement of the curve through the Bezier handles. And I can control click on them to make them separate. So by control clicking on the handles, I can oh, sorry about that. Sometimes difficult to select the right handle. So like that. And control click on this. So you see with the Bezier curve you actually have the same settings as with the with the Bezier clone, I mean, the same setting as with the curve clone, but you have a Bezier curve that you can adjust through these handles. When it's you have control clicked on it and you want to adjust it without control clicking, so just left mouse bells, mouse button click, then the handles will realign. So if you do this without control clicking, you see the handles realign, so always control click if you want this to be separate handles. Control Z to undo. Again, the Bezier clone, so you have also Bezier instance, so instead of actual geometry it will create instances and Bezier replica, instead of clones or instances it will create replicas. And you have the pink clone, again the same thing. Now it's not a curve, but with each click I get a clone. Can I can replace the source. All the settings are the same, but this time it's not a, a curve or a Bezier curve, but simply a clone. And again with the pen clone I can say pen instances or pen replicas. And I also have, as I explained, a transform for each and every one, but I haven't found anything in the manual. So I hope it wasn't too confusing all of that. I suggest you play around with the curve clone tool like I've showed you in the beginning of the video and when you get to know that one you will be able to use the other ones. Uh, please let me know if you find out what Curve Transform, Bezier Transform and Transform Pin are actually for because I haven't found anything about it. The only thing I have to add is I want also... I'm going to stop for a moment. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to show you that on Luxology TV, on Luxology's website, on page 8 you'll find a movie by Ryan named Constraint Background. In this movie he shows you an example of using the Curve Instance tool to place geometry onto other geometry with the use of Constraint Background. Very useful, I would suggest to check out this tool. Luxology TV, page 8. So, hope this was useful and bye for now. This was